so hello friends my name is anush and and i am the legion coder so this is my youtube channel and i hope you guys find this useful and i'm doing my btech ec third year in srm katangalathur and i always wanted to share my knowledge that you know on various programming software that i have done and i will be talking about shylab today so shylab is a really good software it is a really good programming language a free and open source programming language that is mainly for numerical purpose and first we'll install shylab and i'll explain about it so and you know search for shylab and go to the first home page that's what i did so first we'll scroll down and click the 6.1 version of shylab once you click that here you have the software that is a programming language it's, uh, it's actually available for uh, windows linux and mac so you can choose and download here for those who have you know uh, a lesser bit pc if you have uh, 32 bit you can go for uh, 32 bit windows 6.1 version or other uh, is the software or those who have 64 you can go for 64 but then for some people even 64 is causing some problems so jobish if it works you use that or else you don't and it's also available for linux and uh, mac os and also about shylab shylab is a really useful programming language it's actually a computer program and it also has cross platform numerical computational package and it's a high level numerically oriented programming language Uh, i didn't you know i had to wikipedia that and all that so once you click the 64 bit you'll get this so i don't have to you know download it because i already installed it in my pc and regarding that so i'll first launch scilab so oh, i've launched it this is the console of scilab where you can you know do simple addition and subtraction operations and the many you know commands that you can learn So I'll first, you know, clear this. So that's this command called uh, CLC that I don't know. So CLC is like it'll, you know, clear the command, and uh, that is the console. And that command uh, is actually really useful that you'll be, you know, seeing in upcoming videos, and uh, we'll use it in the programs that we do. And regarding Scilab, like I said, it is a useful programming language that is used for uh, generating different waveforms. and converting one waveform to another you can do aliasing sampling and many different operations uh, using this uh, waveform and it is really useful and this is uh, i think oh concern i'll just you know uh, this atoms install i'll be talking about it in later videos in upcoming videos so before that uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel legion coding and do support my youtube channel and main thing is now regarding this console here like i said if you give clf it will clear the output that you have that is the output window and clc will clear the console that is one thing so regarding the programming part yeah you just have to you know click the launch sign outs option over there and over here so once you click that uh, this thing will open here this window will be the you know Sign out part where you do the coding and get the output. And you, in order to get the output, you just have to click the execute option that's available. And it's a really simple program. It will be you know really easy to use once you, you know start doing programs. So in the upcoming video, I'll be most probably posting sine wave generation. I'll be explaining about the generation of sine wave in the next video. So. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and do support my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.